Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can build an Amazon affiliate store using Shopify. So if you already create your affiliate account on Amazon, but you don't really know where to market your product, Shopify is going to be one of the platform that allows you to create an online store, but you can also use your Amazon link on their platform. So right here, I already have my Shopify account. You can get a free account for the first 30 days, but then if you still want to continue and use Shopify platform, you're going to have to pay for around a pound per three months. And I think it's quite a great deal. So go ahead and subscribe to Shopify if you would like to use it. Now, first of all, you will want to decide on what kind of store you will want to create. As for me today, I'm going to try and create a jewelry store. So I'm going to go to Amazon and try to find some jewelry that I feel are going to be suitable to be sell on my store. So I'm just trying to search for a necklace on Amazon and I kind of like this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. So this kind of necklace is the one that I would like to sell on my store. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it says here that this product's name is Initial Necklaces for Women, 40k Gold, etc, etc. It has some variety, it has a specification, product details, etc. So these are the things that I would like to pay attention to before I decide whether I want to insert this product to my Shopify store or not. Because I don't want to sell any product that turns out to be gimmicky. I don't want to sell any product that could lead my customer to get a bad product. So I always take a look at the description as well as the review to make sure that this product is going to be worth selling to. And after I decide whether I want to get this product or not. Let's say I want to sell the product. I'm going to copy the URL from Amazon and we're going to go back to Shopify. So in Shopify, you're going to want to take a look at the left side of your screen. You're going to see a bunch of options on the menu. But what you're going to pay attention to is the app sections below the sales channel. So you will see there is an app sections. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to search for an app in Shopify that are going to allow you to enter the Amazon listing into your store. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to search for Amazon as and as you can see on the search bar, nothing is going to come, but you can always go to Shopify app stores and then you're going to find the apps that we're looking for over there. So the apps that we're going to use today is this Amazon importer spreader app. This app are going to allow you to insert listings from Amazon to Shopify without you having to manually insert every single details. So you just have to put your link on it and then it's going to automatically integrate your Amazon listing into your Shopify store. This app, however, will ask you to pay after a seven day free trial. And as you can see, it starts from around five bucks a month. And again, I think that this application is quite useful. And if you would like to continue creating the Amazon affiliate store on your Shopify, this app is going to be super helpful. So let's try and install it first. So right here, it's going to tell you what access does this specific apps are going to ask for. It's going to be able to view your personal data and the personal data that they're talking about is the customer's data as well as some of the store owner's data. So make sure you take a look at all of the details that this app are going to ask you. And if you agree with it, you can continue and click on install app. Once the app is installed, it's going to bring you to the dashboard of the spreader apps. So on this dashboard, it's going to tell you how to get started to add your Amazon listings. So it says here that it's going to integrate code and you're going to have to join Amazon if you haven't yet. And then you're going to want to import your product. And if you would like to know the detail about how it works, there is a show how it works button that you can click. 
and over here it's going to show you the step-by-step -step of how this spreader app actually works so you can pause this video to read further or you can just go to their website and read it by yourself but right now i'm just going to add the link that i've just copied from amazon and click on add product and then we're going to wait until our product is fully integrated by spreaders into our shopify account and our product is added successfully so i can go ahead and click on close in this and as you can see the product that I copied the link earlier are now appearing on this spreader now i would like to have more than one product on my shopify so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a look at another product because on amazon usually they will give you a recommendation of product that are frequently bought together you can do that by scrolling down on your product and you can see that there are several products that are frequently bought together by customer who are buying their stuff from amazon so i'm just going to choose two other products and add it as well to my shopify store so the reason why i'm adding a product that frequently bought together is because in my opinion if someone's try to take a look at one thing they have the tendency to would want to find variety of that certain thing so, so that's why I'm adding a similar product, but you don't have to do it the exact same way. You can always add up a different product to your Shopify account. Let's say that if you add a jewelry at first, you can totally add up another product, such as maybe headset, phone charger, etc. Depends on what kind of store you would like to build on Shopify. So actually, if you already have your Amazon affiliate account, you're going to want to take a look at the top of your screen below the search bar. You're going to find the site stripe on top of your screen, and that is actually where you will want to get your link. So go ahead and click on the text link, and then you're going to get the short link right here. But if you're copying that short link, it's not going to work. Before you copy that affiliate link, make sure you click on the full link instead of the short link because the full link is going to work, but the short link isn't. As you can see, my URL is now valid. It didn't say invalid URL, which means that I can integrate this product into my Shopify account as long as I'm using the full link instead of the short link. All right, now I got all of my three product integrated into my Shopify account. And now I'm going to try to see how the product looks like on my Shopify store. So this is my store. I didn't really put a lot of changes for the detail yet. But as you can see, if you scroll all the way down, you're going to find on the product that we have already integrated with Spreader earlier. Now, if you notice, one of the product on my Shopify account actually says sold out. And here I'm just trying to check whether on Amazon it does really sold out or not. And it turns out that that specific necklace did not sold out on Amazon. But sometimes things like that happen when you're integrating your product with spreader but it's no problem at all you can just always edit it and change the details to not sold out but for now i'm just going to go ahead and take a look at how the data is being integrated i got all of the pictures i got the title i also got the detail of the product everything looks nice right here you can always recheck to the amazon page to make sure whether all of the pictures or all of the details that are inputted into your Shopify account is already right or not. Make sure to do that after you integrate every product just so that there will be no mistakes and your customer will not get any wrong information or your customer will get a complete information of your product. And right here, I'm going to take a look at the one product that says that it's sold out. Again, sometimes things like that happen. On this product sections right here, you can you actually have the options to alter or to customize your product details, such as the pictures or the price, the 
stock of it or the product description so if you would like to change any of it go ahead and do that and there is this tag sections on the right side of your screen if you scroll down on your product details besides media you're going to find there is a tags option sometimes when you integrate your product from amazon a hidden tags will appear and what it does is that it's going to hide your product from your shopify store I don't have any on this product, thankfully, but sometimes things like that does happen. So make sure you pay attention to the tags section so that if you somehow feels like you already integrate a product into your Shopify account, but it does not appear on your store, you know what is going on. You know what to do about it. It might be because there is a hidden tag. And if there is, you can just go ahead and delete that tags and your product will show on your store. So right here, as you can see, one of my product have zero inventory or zero stock on it. And I've checked on Amazon. They still actually have stocks for this specific necklace. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm just going to add the stock manually. So let's say that I'm going to add three more stocks. And then I also going to change the price because it says sold out. The price is automatically deducted to zero. But I'm just going to change it automatically and then I'm going to go back to my store and see whether it already changes the information or not. All right, so now I finish updating my product info. And as you can see, now all of my product details are complete. And that basically it. That is how you can create your own Amazon affiliate store on Shopify. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.